please welcome to the blue corner for your next fight, Andrew Villarreal. We go to the lightweight division in our amateur ranks. Andrew Villarreal made his debut at Fury FC 72, where he won his debut fight against Casey Lastly, who was supposed to be on his card fight, fell off. He can really grind out fights, really good fighter. Yeah, I mean, the guys from his camp, just they describe this dude as a stud. Now, in his last fights, we've seen him a little bit have some cardio problems. He ran out of gas just a little bit. He's very, very lean, carries a lot of muscle on his frame. But, you know, again, that's something that goes camp to camp. You know, you never know what, what is affecting those cardio problems, Alex. Could be he got sick, could be the had problems cutting weight, could be he ate too soon after, he ate too much. I mean, there's all kinds of things that affect cardio leading up to a fight. And these amateur fights are where you perfect that. Oh, absolutely. And then you see in uh, Villarreal's corner, you see Alex Cisne is kind of a Houston OG veteran. You know, fought, fought pro back in the day when I was an amateur. I saw him win a fight with low kick TKOs. I've always liked his guys and his team. All right, Andrew Villarreal inside, so let's meet his opponent. Please welcome to the red corner, Andrew Lauterbach. Andrew Lauterbach making his amateur debut. Training out of war here in Houston. The 20 year old, a lot, a lot of hype around him. Yeah, I know him well, man. He's a hard worker, he's an athlete, chooses to fight, doesn't have to fight. I really res uh, respect that about him. And, uh, and man, it's funny, we did some rounds before we knew each other. And you know, we had a great round, competitive round. I'd say I got the edge, and he was like really upset with himself. And I was like, hey, man. I'm like a 50 pro fight veteran, like, he did fantastic, <laughs> but it shows the standards he has for himself are very high. It shows in his training, and now we'll see if it shows in the cage. He did some practice fights, some like live sparring smoker fights, and had a lot of success. I, I, I always said like, hey, this man's a young go hard. I mean, he's young and he goes hard. I've been looking forward to his debut for some time. Yeah, look at our tail of the tape, brought to you by Sheath Underwear. Even on the height, even on the reach, the 24-year-old Andrew Villarreal looking for his second win. Andrew Lauterbach looking for his first win here in our lightweight division at Fury Amateurs. All right, let's get our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by SheathUnderwear.com is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury Amateur Series lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, and he weighed in officially at 156.4 pounds. Fighting out of Katy, Texas, he holds an amateur record of one win. No losses. This is Andrew Villarreal. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, and he weighed in at a perfect 155 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, today he makes his amateur debut. This is Andrew Lauterbach. Your referee in charge of the action, Jeff Rexroad. Blue gloves for Villarreal, red for Lauterbach. Southpaw versus Orthodox. Yeah, from talking to those guys over at, at uh, War, Lauterbach has got an unbelievable gas tank. The pressure's never going to stop for the, all three of these rounds. Yeah, he's got a good right high kick, and his opponent's a southpaw. Maybe that's something he'll look to set up. Man, Lauterbach just threw that body kick there, that kind of push kick to the body. And man, it looked like he hit a wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, both. Andrew's very athletic. Villarreal built very well for the 55 class. Man, good. both guys throwing with some power and speed here. Yeah, good diversity of strikes. Yeah, this is another fight where, you know, you got a one fight amateur and, a, and an amateur debut, and both of these guys look very, very crisp so yeah. far. Just shows you how good training has gotten, not only in the city of Houston, but throughout yeah, absolutely. the nation. 
And all Houstonian fighters be very grateful we've had promotions like Legacy and now Fury to pave the way. And also, guys like you, when you've got UFC veterans running gyms and cross-training as well. You get you get rounds with professionals, man. That's unbelievable. What other sport do you get that, right? Yeah, when I was an amateur and, and local pro, big exchange from these guys. Ooh. I remember training with UFC vets, and it just made my week. I still remember those days. Daniel Pineda, Andrew Craig, shout out to those boys. You guys are a beacon of hope in Houston, just so you know. Yeah, it was the same way whenever I was up, you I know, hope. Of being a DFW fighter when I was coming up, whenever I was younger. And, you know, Travis Luter, of course, was my coach. And we would constantly get, he was still fighting in the UFC, we would constantly get visitors, Tim Kennedy, uh, you know, Guy Metzger. <laughs> uh, all these guys would come over there, you know, Rashad Evans. I close. This is a bad one. Oh, oh man. Yeah. The, the reaction from Villarreal was not oh, great. And right now, he just punched the canvas right now, too. And see if he's able to continue his uh, eyes open so sometimes on a bad poke like your eye will close and your body just will not let you open it yeah until like the muscles relax I mean we saw that when uh, I think Yair fought Jeremy Stevens and it just like grazed his eye but his eye would not open his left eye is not I mean it is shut and closed Ooh, I don't, we'll see uh, what happens here um, but I want to talk about this real quickly. You know, speaking of the canvas, I heard this on the Fury Unleashed podcast. So over here, here at Fury, it's more of a vinyl canvas. But at the UFC, it's an actual canvas. It's a canvas. It feels like like non-coarse sandpaper. Okay. It's like rough, but also soft at the same time. The 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 mats they use are really made. It's unlike anything I've ever felt. Oh, oh man. What was that? The, the index yeah. finger right on the left oh, eye there of Villarreal. Yeah. No. That was He's a, good a knuckle one. deep in there, too. That was a good one. It's not great. Oh. I feel for both these guys. No one wants this. They have time. I mean, they have yeah. time. They don't have to instantly call it. I had a fight once. I got poked in the eye bad. And there was only 30 seconds left. And Mark Goddard was like, can you see? And I was like, I can see two of everything. He's like, good enough. And I had to. So I closed my my, my, my blind eye and just started swinging to the round. And we got fight of the night, I think, because of it. Nice. <laughs> but I was like, come on, give me a minute. Give me a yeah. second. So I can't, so I can, you know, see less than double. So what Alex is trying to say is if you want to make the money, get take a poke to the eye. And then just, hey, and then just go for it. the rest of the way. Let your instincts <laughs> kick in. <laughs> oh, man. this uh, That eye poke is brutal. We'll uh, see if we get this fight. Villarreal continues. It does not look good. Yeah, but, yeah, but the the, uh, the UFC canvas. I mean, it's in, in the lights. Their lighting rig's big. It's like hot. It's it's such a, it's such a feel. Yeah. I had I had to get used to it. I mean, but now I crave it. It's awesome. I mean, they, they're getting in there with the flashlight. Look at that beautiful eye cam we've got here. Oh, this. Yeah, it looks yeah, like the yeah. light is even hurting his eyes. Fight fans, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I don't, I don't think this fight's gonna continue. I don't think so either. If this, they can ooh, get it going. Oh no, he, yeah, he's wincing at just the well, opening of the eyelid. This you is, know, even, even if he does get to a decent spot, you know, what kind of quality of vision will he have if this fight continues? Oh, get the fight. I, I hope he's good. Just in general, now, like, yeah. You know, it looks like his eyelid may have folded under. And uh, it's he can't pull his eyelashes oh. out of his eyes. Right on the tear duct. Jeez. Oh. oh. I mean, even even now, just he's wincing. This is no. This is no. Yeah, like he said, Rahil. I mean, fight stop aside. Hopefully, he's just okay. He's just okay. Yeah, they they're trying to flip his either. eyelid back around. It looked like maybe his his eyelid got turned inside out. Looks like they've got it out now, but. Good, good work for the cameraman there. We can see this. So he's got a, a little redness, like right under his tear duct, which is good. That means that means the fingertip hit the tear duct and then slid forward, opposed to enter it into the eye. Yeah. So I think now that they flipped his eyelid around. I, I hope I was wrong. I, maybe they get this fight going. We'll see. I think Retro Props. just said it was over. And his contact. They actually have his contact as well. So mm. the contact was saved. He's trying to put that back in right now. Oh, that's not a good sign whenever he's looking that close at his contact. Oh, oh man. Hey, I'll All be right, honest. Okay. <laughs> I just said let him do his thing. He's done that on your tongue. Oh, man. Put that on your tongue. Get the contact just moist. Just toss the back contact in. and scrap. 
with your natural vision. That's right. I mean, he had to pass an eye exam to get in here. I mean, that means like, you know. I didn't know. So for your eye exam, it has to be without any. Um, I would. I would imagine or... so. Thankfully, and I'm grateful for this. I've had good vision. My yeah. wife, who I love dearly, does not. So I'm the seer of the family. Yeah. But I'm not too sure. I would imagine though, you can't have any support. Is that snot? Just yeah, that was a little nose. snot there. Awesome. A little snot. Okay, Fight contact game, is back in. All right. All I right. Mean, we might get a fight. Let's see. Well, no, oh, no, Jeff, no, 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 we're inside. It's called. Okay. Let's go inside, uh, and we are going to go to Wayne and see how this uh, is going to be. Ooh. Yeah, this is a yeah, no contest, contest yeah. I would imagine. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor stops this one. One minute, 53 seconds into the very first round, ruling this a no contest due to an unintentional foul. That happens. That right. happens. No contest here. Um, man, we'll hopefully see both of these guy ba uh, guys back here. We've got a lot of fights coming up here, by the way, in Fury FC, so we'll get it going. 